This is a video by Richmond. Today we are working on a Toyota Corolla slash Chevy Prism. This is a 1998 model. And the problem we got today is we have no dash lights. When we turn our headlights on, no illumination at all. So we're going to remove the instrument cluster and check those bulbs out. Now seeing that we're going to be working on the steering column, the first thing we need to do for safety is to disconnect the negative battery cable from the battery and then remove our fuse for the airbag and then wait about a half an hour before we start uh, working in this area right here. Now on these cars there are two types of steering columns. One like this that has no tilt control and one that does. Now if you have a tilt control you'll find a little lever right in this area right here and that would make the job a lot easier because what you do is you tilt the steering column down as far as you can then you can get this black bezel off here with a couple of screws up here and there's some clips take it out take the cluster out. Now ours doesn't have the tilt control so it makes the job a lot harder. First thing we need to do is to take off this scuff plate on the rocker. And of course we're using our panel remover. those clips and there they are all right one clip stayed right there so we're gonna remove that next thing we need to do is to remove this panel right here there is a 11 millimeter nut right there not much of a nut it's a plastic job and there's a little clip right over here that holds it on. Not much of a clip. Right there. And there's our panel. Next we need to remove this 10 millimeter ball right here. And over here on the other side this 10 millimeter ball right now. Alright now we got our two bolts removed right there. Now what you can do if you want is to uh, remove the um, cable for the hood release but uh, I'm going to leave it connected and just let the panel hang down. Now right over here where we took that bolt out just lift up on the panel a little bit to clear the um, little piece that it's on like that and she will hinge down just like that. Next thing we need to do is to remove this little metal panel right here. We have a 10 millimeter bolt right here and a 10 millimeter bolt right here and we need to remove those now. Now this metal piece is just like the plastic one right here. She's um, hinged a little bit on the top and we have um, this piece underneath the clip right here and pry that out and we're going to let that stay right there. Now underneath the column you'll see these two 14 millimeter headed bolts right here. We're going to take them out and let the column come down. It's going to come down about a half an inch or so because there's other bolts forward that we're not going to take out and that will give us enough of room to get our instrument cluster out. Okay let's take this um, last bolt out hold up on that column so it doesn't come down too fast okay let it come down a little bit there we go Next thing we need to do is to remove these two Phillips head screws. 
What works good is a, um, a little short, um, I call this a shorty Phillips. You can see that um, it, there is a clearance problem there, so that works out quite well. Next thing we need to do is to pull out at the bottom of this bezel right here. There are little clips that hold it in, one on that side and then one on the other side. Now, once we get those off, we can come up here on the top, pull this back, and we want to pull it back as much as we can like that, and slide it over just like that. And she's all out. Now what we have holding the cluster in is this Phillips head screw down here, this one up here, and that one right there. And we need to remove those now. Now once we get those screws out, we can feed our cluster out, bring it over here on the other side. Just like that. There it is. And now we can get out our bulbs right there. Now on the back of the cluster, these large green ones right here, these three, are the ones that illuminate the dash. And these are the ones that we're having problem. We presume we're having problems because we don't have any illumination. Let's take one out and look at it. Oh yeah, look at that. I can see right through that cap how black that is. What we're gonna do is we'll double check, bring it on the bench and check it out. But these are the three that uh, we we'll might most likely replace. Okay, I took the cover off on this bulb. Look at that. Look how black that is. Even before testing it, that don't look good. Now, what we're going to do is uh, try to salvage these little caps on here. We'll just peel them back. Better watch out. Sometimes they stick because of the heat. Right there. Ooh. Okay. Boy, that one's black too. Look at that. Here are the bulbs we're going to use. They are 194s. We'll put that in the holder. See if we can grab one of these little pieces. No big deal if we can't. There we go. We're all set. All right. Um, what I did is I checked the old bulbs with a battery that did not light. So it, most likely when we get those in, we'll be fine. Now the dash on the other bulbs look like this. The small ones. What we're going to do is we're going to check all those before we put the cluster back in. All right, everything's back together. The battery's hooked up. Now the final test. Hey, we got dash lights. Look at that. Boy, you can see everything beautiful. Be able to see at night now. That's great. All right, that's it. That's all there is to replacing your instrument panel bulbs on your Toyota Corolla slash Chevy Prism.